Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the transjugular, intrahepatic, porto systemic shunt. Transjugular, intrahepatic, porto systemic shunt. This is actually a non selective shunt. It is a non selective shunt which is inserted between the right hepatic vein it is inserted between the right hepatic vein and right branch of portal vein it is inserted between the right hepatic vein and right branch of portal vein so first we will pass the cannula through the internal jugular vein that is right internal jugular vein is mainly preferred for cannulation, you will can pass the cannula through right internal jugular vein and then you will reach the hepatic vein. Like from right, uh, see, I will just draw a small diagram. So from the right internal jugular vein, you will go to the right superior vena cava. From there, you will go into the right inferior vena cava. This is right atrium. This is superior vena cava, then inferior vena cava. So in the inferior vena cava, you will go into the right hepatic vein. Actually portal vein. Okay, from the portal vein, again you will go to the liver. And then you will go to the hepatic vein. Which will again drain into inferior vena cava. Now, you will go through this. Sorry, sorry. first you will go into hepatic vein. I'm sorry, first you will go into hepatic vein and just draw a catheter also. So you are going from, this is IJV, from superior from internal jugular vein to the superior vena cava. Then you will pass the catheter to inferior vena cava. So then you will go into the right hepatic vein. This is right hepatic vein. Okay. Then you will pass the catheter through this and here you will also have the portal vein. Okay. Now through this portal vein, you will put a shunt between the right hepatic vein and the portal vein so this is the shunt okay this is the shunt which is put okay so this is called as transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt very good but now if you see this shunt what is the uh, needle used for this cannulation we use a needle called as rosh needle is used rosh needle is used for cannulation of portal vein for cannulation of portal vein we can use this rosh needle then if you were asked uh, what is the name of the stunt the stunt used here the name of the stunt is viator stunt can be used here okay now if you were asked about the complications of the procedure so in the complications, first and foremost, we have encephalopathy is seen. Why is this encephalopathy? Because of ammonia. So here you are directly sending the blood from the hepatic vein, I mean from the portal vein into the hepatic vein. So there is no liver involved in the in this flow of blood. So because of that, the uh, normally the detoxification of ammonia occurs in the liver. Because of shunting the bread directly from the portal vein to hepatic vein, this uh, ammonia detoxification does not occur. So, ammonia gets accumulated resulting in encephalopathy and there will be sometimes the stunt may get stenosed or there can be stunt thrombosis also. So, these are the main complications of the, the procedure. Now, after complications, what about the contraindications? So, if you see the contraindications of the tips. Now, there are two types. These contraindications can be divided into absolute contraindications or relative contraindications. So, in absolute contraindications include right heart failure. If right heart failure, you should not do this procedure. Or pulmonary right heart failure, pulmonary hypertension or presence of hepato pulmonary syndrome in polycystic liver disease is also an 
polycystic liver disease is absolute contraindication of tips and if you see related contraindications are portal vein thrombosis or if there is hypervascular liver tumor or if there is encephalopathy so these are the related contraindications of this procedure now what are the indications where do you do this procedure the indications include you will do this to prevent number one acute variceal bleeding if you have to prevent the acute variceal bleeding you will have to do this procedure this is actually the most common indication then if there is any refractory venous bleeding you can use this procedure and this can be used in refractory ascites it is used in refractory hepatic hydrothorax it is used in refractory hepatic hydrothorax then it is used in butcheri syndrome it is used in butcheri syndrome and also it is used in veno occlusive disease then it is used in portal vein hypertensive portal hypertensive gastropathy so these are the main indications of transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt thank you